the polarity of control. A concept that's unimaginably valuable here. It's around understanding what is inside our control and what isn't. Your activities, your reactions, your astuteness, these are beneath your control. Other people's activities, counting their endeavors to trap you in a twofold tie are not so. When you're encouraged to speak up only to be criticized, keep in mind that your worth and the esteem of your commitments are not decided by the responses of others. They are decided by your claim, commitment to talking and acting with keenness. The stolid approach would be to perceive the twofold tie for what it is an outside challenge, not a reflection of your worth or capacities. It energizes us to reply, not with frustration or self-question, but with a calm and confined appraisal of the circumstance. Can you clarify the desires? Can you discuss the conflicting input on the off chance that the circumstance remains untenable? Perhaps the impassive hone of turning internal and centering on maintaining your own moral benchmarks is the best way forward. This may be especially deceptive since it, not as it were, confounds you but can too make you doubt your possess activities and sentiments. For instance, if someone is feeling blameworthy almost, they possess untrustworthiness, they might denounce you of being the leer, or in case they battle with jealousy, they might demand that you're the one who can't be trusted. It's a defense instrument, a way of dodging the inconvenience of confronting their own shortcomings by making them about someone else, in namely you stoicism, Energizes us to question the legitimacy of the allegations being anticipated onto us. Are they a genuine reflection of our character or activities, or are they a reflect reflecting somebody else's issues by keeping up a clear sense of self and remaining grounded in our own truth? We can divert these unwarranted projections without permitting them to enter our peace of mind. Marcus Aurelius reminds us to meet others, faults with compassion and understanding, recognizing projection for what it could be. A sign of somebody else's internal turmoil permits us to respond not with outrage or protectiveness, but with persistence and sympathy. This doesn't mean we acknowledge the projection as true or let it slide without address. Instead, ready to tenderly but immovably invalidate the wrong allegations and on the off chance that possible encourage the projector to reflect on their possessed behavior the stoic approach to managing with projection too includes recognizing the limits of our duty we are dependable for our activities our integrate rise to secure our cultivate from somebody else's junk so to talk this control strategy can pop up any place in deals. It's the restricted time offer that waits you. To buy something right now in connections, it might be a accomplice pushing for a speedier commitment than you're comfortable with and within the work environment. It might show as preposterous deadlines that drive you to form choices without satisfactory data or consideration. One of the center standards of stoicism is the polarity of coes stolid hone can be incredibly supportive when managing with time weight by staying present and not getting swept up in the frenzy of a ticking clock, able to keep up our composure and make decisions that reflect our genuine selves and our honest to goodness best interests. The stoic approach to time pressure also involves practicing strength, the courage to say no, the strength to inquire for more time and the boldness to stand by our choices. Indeed, on the off chance that they go against the grain of urgency imposed by others, it's around eye control, is our own thoughts and activities this doesn't cruel. We gotten to be detached or heartless around how others treat us, instead it implies we do not let our enthusiastic well-being be. At the leniency of somebody else's fluctuating temperaments practicing stoicism within the confront of irregularity means cultivating a sense of self-worth that's autonomous of external validation. It includes recognizing that whereas we may want consistency and clarity in our connections, we do not require them to be substance or to feel goo meant to do anything. It is that the blackmailer needs 
This isn't fair manipulation, it's manipulation that cuts profound, utilizing the exceptionally pith of your human involvement, your capacity to feel against you. Passionate coercion can show in numerous ways, guilt trips, fear mongering, commitment and shaming. It's a strategy that plays on our fears, our cherishes, our wants to be seen as great caring people. But here's the thing, real love, genuine regard. They do not come with strings connected. They're not conditional on M. It's similarly important to try and get it where the other person is coming from as their activities are likely driven by their claim, torment or unmet needs. However, understanding does not cruel submitting. We can offer empathy without relinquishing our independence. This isn't fair, a eh? Pivotal strategies of overwhelming control. You wish to know. Transcript. The most excellent exact retribution is to be not at all like him who performed the damage. Did you know that each day in each interaction there's a covered up front line? It's the concealed battle of control versus genuineness where our minds and hearts are the prizes to be won. It's not fair within the motion pictures or emotional books. It's in our workplaces, our homes and indeed within the palm of our hands through our phones presently in vision. Exploring this war zone, outfitted with intelligence from the ancient Stoic scholars who caught on the V alloy of the intellect and how to ensure it, they instructed us not fair to outlive, but to flourish in the midst of life's chaos by holding firm to our internal citadel, our center of level-headedness and ideals in today's world where control can come from any place and where numerous veils. How do we apply impassive intelligence to recognize these strategies and shield ourselves? Remain with me and let's investigate this together. We'll reveal the advanced controls that test our stoicism and learn how to utilize old methods of insight to watch your minds and live with reason. This isn't close to dodging pitfalls. It's about building a life of realness, strength and genuine opportunity. So in case you've ever felt played, pushed or fair playing, astounded by the actions of others, you're within the right put. Let's plunge into this travel of strengthening together, guided by the ageless wisdom of the Stoics and change the way we connected with the world around us. And sometime recently, we set out on this travel together. I'd like to inquire a little favor, hit that subscribe button. It's a basic press for you, but it's a tremendous back for us too. I encourage you not to skip any part of this video. You're here since you're not just like the rest, you're an exemption looking for not fair to explore. But to get it and ace the complexities of human interaction, adhere with me. And let's open these bits of knowledge together. Envision you and your companion are tight, right? At that point, there's this third individual who comes along and all of a sudden your friend starts sharing things you said in confidency or more awful turning your words to make a story that pits you against each other. It's like being back in a schoolyard dramatization, but with higher stakes. Because as grown-ups, the passionate aftermath can be way more extreme. You begin to address your judgments, your fellowships, indeed your sense of reality. It's as in case you're playing a game where the rules continually alter and you're continuously a step behind the genuine kicker. Frequently, you do not indeed realize what's happening until you're knee deep in questions and feeling G completely alone. Within the middle of a swarm, Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca instructed us the esteem of internal peace and the significance of understanding our responses to outside occasions when confronted with triangulation, a stolid approach would be to watch the circumstance with detachment, recognize the manipulation for what it is and deny to let it disturb your internal tranquility. It's approximately realizing that, whereas you can't control the actions of others, you'll be able to control your reaction. The stolid shrewdness, moreover, teaches us almost the significance of coordinate communication and looking for clarity in our intuitive in case you suspect triangulation approach the people involved with trustworthiness and openness regularly bringing covered up things into the light can break up the shadows of control 
So keep in mind, within the confront of triangulation, your best partners are your sense of self, your capacity to address the story, being spun around you and your commitment to keeping up, coordinate and straightforward connections. It's not around dodging the spill in your vessel, but knowing how to fix it up rapidly and keep cruising forward guided by the stars of intelligence and astuteness in genuine life. It shows in situations where you're corset in case you are doing and damned. If you do not each choice laid out some time recently, you appears to lead to a few shape of study or disillusionment successfully catching you in a cycle of interminable off-base choices. Here's a classic illustration in vision being energized to share your thoughts and speak your mind. To bring your genuine self to teehee table so you gather up the metal, you open up and bam, you're criticized or dismissed for doing fair. That it's confounding, right? It's as on the off chance that you're being told to bounce into the pool. But the minute you are doing, you're reproved for getting damp. This strategy could be a top pick for controllers because it keeps you off adjust. You begin moments speculating yourself your choices indeed. Your discernments, the ground underneath you, are feeling temperamental since the rules appear to alter based on the whims of somebody else. Stoicism, moreover, teaches us about a contradiction. It's an endeavor to form. You question your recognition of reality itself. That's gaslighting. It's a frame of control so inconspicuous and insidious that it can shake the exceptionally establishments of your confidence, making you doubt is being unfairly challenged. The impassive approach to gaslighting is not almost getting to be impenetrable to control, but around recognizing it for what it is, an outside endeavor to control and destabilize and reacting with the strength of our incider backbone, our commitment to our truth and our belief in our own perceptions. It's about keeping up our mental and passionate balance indeed when somebody tries to tell who's the sky isn't blue. No. Eight, wrong social approval. This tactic leverages our profound G true to our reason. Judgments and not being influenced by the assumed actions of the masses, we protect our inward peace. This doesn't mean isolating ourselves from society or dismissing social standards through and through. Rather, it means critically evaluating the esteem and impact of these standards on our lives and making cognizant choices almost which to take after. Besides the impassive hone of premeditation, visualizing potential challenges and planning oneself to face them can be important here by foreseeing. Cities closed to the open, this strategy plays on our normal, want to get it and make sense of our world, and when pieces of the confused are purposely kept from us, it can lead to perplexity, errors, and confused activities. Seneca, the stolid philosopher, advised against hasty judgments and decisions made without full understanding. He would advise us to be persistent, to address and to look for out as much data as conceivable. Sometime recently, shaping a conclusion or making a decision. This doesn't cruel we here, one might say. In the event that you take off, you'll never discover someone like me again to proficient situations where the suggestion could be do this or your career here is over. It makes a situation where fear or maybe then rational judgment becomes the driving drive behind your decisions. The Stoics teach us that fear like all other feeling is not a precise reflection of reality, but rather a recognition that can be examined, understood and ultimately controlled. Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the control of OPS with others. It's a strategy that depends on making perplexity and question making. Manipulation awareness. The transcript exposes the prevalence of manipulation in daily life describing it as an unseen struggle between manipulation and authenticity across various settings like offices, homes and digital interactions. Triangulation and Stoic wisdom. Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca provide guidance on navigating triangulation, advocating for inner peace, detachment and transparent communication as effective tools against manipulation.
double bind and dichotomy of control. Exploring the manipulative tactic of placing individuals in a double bind, the discussion connects this to Stoic teachings on the dichotomy of control, emphasizing personal actions and integrity as controllable factors, while external reactions are not. Projection Handling with Stoicism Stoicism is applied to dealing with projection as a manipulation tactic, encouraging individuals to maintain self-awareness, respond with patience and empathy, and acknowledge the limits of their responsibility in the face of baseless accusations. Stoic response to time pressure and emotional blackmail. Stoic principles guide individuals facing time pressure and emotional blackmail, urging them to remain present, practice courage, and recognize that their emotional well-being is under their control, regardless of external validation. 